My name is Simone Taglia Pietra, I'm a senior researcher at the Theme Research Program Energy Scenarios and Policy, and I'll talk to you from COP22 in Marrakesh. The big topic being discussed in the corridors of COP22 is certainly the one of the, the results of the American elections, and uh, as far as the climate change policy of the US will change accordingly to the new political phase. Three are the scenarios being outlined. The first is the US withdrawing from the Paris Agreement. This is not possible because according to Article 28 of the Paris Agreement, it will take four years to exit. So that would be basically at the end of the first term of President Trump. The second scenario is to withdraw from the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change to Kur, which will be a very radical choice, but is still very unlikely because it will be really tough, politically speaking. The third option is the one of simply, for President Trump, ignoring the commitments taken before by President Obama, and this would actually put the overall mechanism at risk, because if the United States will not comply with the targets, then other countries like China, India, and other emerging economies might well say, look, why should we do our homework while the US is not? So here there is a fear that uh, uh, over the next four years, the Paris commitments might not be fully uh, taken over by the states, but uh, as far as the structure, the legal structure of the Paris Agreement is concerned, the agreement is not in danger.